Hey guys, you with Lisa? I've got my head down like this for a moment because it's going to be scary when I lift it up and I just wanted to warn you. <laughs> Alright, I have just gotten out of a shower and as you can see, my hair looks crazy. Um, now, I didn't want to just keep on giving you good photos or, and good footage footage of my hair obviously it is nearly two weeks old it is two weeks old in two days um, but this is my third wash and I've got a lot of regrowth and a lot of matting and I just wanted to go through this with you because um, for newbies out there this is what you're going to end up with too um, so let's get into it I got out of the shower and these dreads here were joined they were so matted together I could not get them apart so I've had to cut them now this one you can see that all the hair that was in this dread is not no longer there it's only the root it will grow through obviously and this one's left with this much so I'm gonna to have to tidy that up by doing some little bit of crochet hooking um, oh, my cat's here saying hello can you come say hello Charlie Okay. Say hello to the camera. This is Charlie. He's very cute. <laughs> okay. Um, so, as you can see, there's a few that are joined. And what you need to do, preferably when it's dry, I started doing this when it's wet and your hair just rips and it's not good for your head. So, do it when it's dry. So, I've blow dried it all and it's an absolute mess I can't believe it <laughs> go through section all your parts like grab them make sure so you can see that those two hopefully you can see this uh, join together so you can rip it apart and what I will do is like tear it apart and when I clean it up with the crochet hook I'll separate that so I'll twist that in and pull it through and then it'll clean that up but yeah they're, they're quite messy and getting matted but I mean this is what dreading is all about so this is what you want um, so it's dreading quite well um, some of them actually need more Root rolling, so I need to. I'm not sure if you can see that, but because it's just it hasn't got and it's it's not um, matted enough to pull it through. Um, I know that lots of people don't use a crochet hook and let them um, happen naturally, but with the type of work that I do um, within the fitness industry and my full time, because I work full time um, in finance and accounting and I work part time in the fitness industry nutritional health and everything else so I don't want them to be crazy and look um, naturally dreaded and matted and everything don't get me wrong, you guys out there that have got it, all your dreadies love the look but I just can't have it for my type of work so just letting you know out there. <laughs> um, so go through, separate them all. They're not too bad. The rest, I did have one down here um, that was really, really bad. I actually ended up having to take it out and separate them because it was going to be really, really fat dread. As you can see, all mine are quite fine. I've got really, really fine thin hair. Um, what I do do is put in my extensions, that's quite a fat one. Um, here. I knew they were here somewhere. Um, had to keep an eye out actually because I love artsy crafty stuff so I'm going to be doing a few different things. That's a little cute one. And this one, I've kind of just like made it. So they're all double sided these ones but they look quite cool in and it just gives my hair a little bit more volume after I've rolled it and, and got it all neat and tidy and everything else. 
Um, but what I'm going to be doing is making them like, um, oh, you'll have to wait and see. Can't, I can't tell you. You have to wait and see what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, uh, so, gone through and done most of that. So now I'm going to just basically get them really, really matted up at the roots. Um, so I'll go through and do that with all of them. And what I'm doing is really time consuming. Last time I did this, I, last time I washed my hair, I washed it, I blow dried it, I did a bit of root rolling, I went through and I palm rolled every single one to map them all up, make them nice and tidy. And then I only my dreads, ah, only my dreads, I am talking about my dreads. Only my roots, I went through and um, to begin with, I didn't go through and do that gently. <laughs> I went through and really pulled and, and stuff and it wasn't really good. Oh look, see? There's one. So I have to really, see that's quite... So I'm going to have to really separate that because uh, otherwise what happens is they'll join together and they'll congo and they'll end up with this one big thick dread and I don't want that. So if I can't get that apart, I'll have to cut it and then weave it through with this. Um, but anyway, you don't need to see me doing all this but it will take a couple of hours, believe me and it's late and I should be studying but I'm not I need to do this, I need to get it okay for work tomorrow, I've got management meetings and different things so I don't want to look crazily messed up like I do now um, with you guys, wanting dreads I share it with you <laughs> anyway, cheers guys I will um, turn this back on once I've cleaned it up and once I have my extensions in so you get a bit, a bit of a look. You've seen them, I did take a, a video footage of this a couple of days ago but um, if you haven't watched that one you'll see these in too. Cheers!